Hi, I'm Alicia and welcome to my channel Paper Craft Secrets. Today I am sharing a Valentine's Day heart project that I created using Mente's homemade collection. I'm in love with the shabby chic nature of this collection and I had the best time creating this heart. Let me take you step by step through how I made the project. The first thing that I did was I purchased this at Kmart, I think it was $5 in the kids art arty sort of section at Kmart and I covered the whole box with some gesso, some white gesso to give it a little bit more protection, um, a little bit more strength to the wood. The next step was to paint the heart-shaped box with some acrylic paint and I chose pink and I also chose to paint the inside of the box as well. After I would finished with the pink I decided to add a little bit of gold so that it would create a more vintage look because the pink was very pretty pink and I wanted it to sort of be a little bit of a metallic -y sort of pink so it wasn't just so bright because I thought it would match the papers a little bit better. I picked out this gorgeous page from the homemade collection by Minte and I'm just sort of deciding whereabouts to what part of the paper to use for the heart. I actually just drew around the heart with a pencil and then I just cut that out to create the top of the box. I just used some liquid craft glue to glue that piece of paper down onto the front of the box. Then I added just a little bit of pink paint around the edges to sort of blend the paint into the paper. I measured some strips of paper and cut those out from this beautiful pink and cream polka dot paper that is in the homemade collection and I pasted that on the bottom edge of the box. So I'm just adding some glue around that part of the box and then I'm just sticking that pink and cream polka dot paper carefully around. I'm just trimming a little space there for the hinge of the box and I'm going to join it in the fold there. And now I'm just going to do the other side. Just some glue on first. And then once I had all of that on, I just added a little bit of paint to sort of blend the paper into the paint a little bit. So it's kind of a bit of a mixed media look, this box. My next step was to work with some fussy cut images from the homemade collection. I'm just putting them onto some little cardboard pieces so that I can raise this up nicely on the lid of the box. And I've got some lace leaves that I thought I might add in as well. The design that I'm trying to create here is going to be on the left hand side of the love heart. So I'm just putting picking out some little leaves that are going to poke just out of that big floral cluster. And because the floral cluster is higher on the cut cardboard, the leaves will just sit nicely underneath it. Just glue that bit on there now. And that's the base for the floral cluster that I'm going to create. 
So I'm just gluing on some petals from a flower and this is a prima flower that I'm just gluing on there. I thought it might be nice to add in some of those gold leaves into the cluster. And I've also chosen some butterflies from the, the Wings Fussy Cutting Book. And I'm also going to be using a little bit of cheesecloth, white cheesecloth, to add to that shabby chic feel. There's another Prima flower with a fussy cut petal and from the homemade collection. So I'm just sort of adding that in on top of cardboard. So I'm building the floral cluster up in height so that the, the different levels start to show. I'm just adding in another petal just for an extra little bit there. And there's a little bit of cheesecloth and I'm going to pop my flower on top of that. Just there. And then I can pop my little gold leaves in. They're going to poke out from underneath the flowers. my butterfly. Now this is another little floral cluster that I've trimmed from the papers and you can see how because it's got that leaf on it it adds a nice bit of difference into the layers so popping that onto the cardboard and then popping that in for extra layers. Chosen a bigger flower I'm just gluing that down. I've also got some pearl little pearl clusters there that I want to add in and I've moved my butterfly to over here and I'm adding another butterfly just there and they're from the wings book just a little pearl in there on the flower petals and I have a love chipboard sentiment that I inked with pink ink. So you can see how it was quite easy to create this cluster using the beautiful papers from Minte. Just a couple of um, flowers and some lace leaves and some cheesecloth and some pearls. That's all you really need to create this sort of shabby chic layered look and the tones of the colors um, really add to the shabby chic look because it's very pastel and it's very pink and a little bit vintage just looking at adding in a couple of little gold flower stamens there just add something a little bit different And also a crinkled ribbon always looks beautiful in the shabby chic look. I just did a bow in pink there and then I'm just going to add some white twine which always adds to the shabby chic look as well. Another gold leaf. Another thing I like to add in is this white lace. It sort of dangles down a little bit and it fills in spaces really well. Pop a little bit near the bow as well. I decided to add some lace around the edge of the box so that it adds to the shabby chic feel of the project. I just popped the glue straight on to the wood and the paper and then I just pressed the lace down. I started at the back where I could hide the join and then I could cut it off there. I 
I added some paper on the insides of the hearts to line the box. I really liked the lace, so I decided to add another row of lace around the top part of the lid. You can see how I've got this little gap. As I, as I painted the box, I think the wood expanded a little bit. So what I ended up doing to make sure that my box closed properly was I just got my husband to take the hinges off the box and then we just put the hinges back on so that it, it could um, close properly because I think the wood might have swelled a little bit with all of the paint and gesso that I put on it. So if your box does that, just unscrew the hinges and alter, the, alter it just a little bit so it sits flat. We also sanded it a little bit on the inside too. And then I'm just adding a little bit of glitter onto the flowers and the butterflies. And I also added some glitter to the outer edge of the box to give it a little bit extra sparkle. And here's a close up of the finished box. You can see all of the ribbon and the lace and all the flowers and butterflies and the beautiful papers from Minte's homemade collection. This was so much fun to create. I thoroughly enjoyed making this and it was quite quick to create as well. So if you happen to be in Kmart, see if you can purchase one of those little love heart shaped boxes in the art and craft section and have a try at making a shabby chic heart box for Valentine's Day. I hope you have a lovely Valentine's Day. I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel for more beautiful projects coming up. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely crafty day.